Number 5. Portuguese Man o' War Sometimes called a blue bottle for its translucent sac that floats on the surface, this creature is actually a traveling colony of polyps that stick together to create the Portuguese Man o' War. The creatures that form the Man o' War each specialize in one facet of survival, like defense, reproduction, or eating. The living Man o' War parts are born together and stay bonded for life. Number 4. Sea Anemone Lacking a central nervous system, the anemone has a neural net of sorts which keeps it on the lookout for food. The anemone nabs passers-by with its venomous tentacles, paralyzing and then consuming its prey. After eating, the anemone spews the waste back out the same opening, as its digestive chamber only has one door, functioning as both mouth and anus. Number 3. Jellyfish As you can literally see, jellyfish don't have much for internal organs. Instead of a brain, jellies have what's known as a neural net, a system of nerve cells interwoven all over the animal's body. Jellyfish survive this way whether they're one millimeter wide or 100 feet long. Number 2. Sea Cucumber Sea cucumbers don't have gray matter, but they have ingenious defense mechanisms. When under attack, sea cucumbers can startle and gross out their attacker by suddenly disgorging their guts and internal organs. Or they can opt to eject long, sticky tubes from their anus to ensnare and possibly disable the predator permanently. Number 1. Sea Star Even though they don't have a brain, or even ganglia, sea stars do have some sense of touch, sight, and smell. Each of the sea star's arms can sense the world around it. When one of the arms smells something good to eat, it cuts off power to the other arms and starts pulling the entire creature towards the food source. 